Hi there, welcome to number one Geek. It is I, Saz, and we're back with some more RimWorld Save Our Station 2, which is uh, Save Our Ship 2, but uh, I always say station because that's what I'm doing. Uh, first of all, start off with an apology. Last time, I didn't realise that I had been uh, recording without any sort of volume at all. Uh, the reason for that was I was recording some um, footage uh, for a test of some sort and it didn't need my uh, my my mouth so uh, there so I'd, I'd actually forgotten to switch the mic back on and that's the reason why I've been talking to myself but nothing really happened uh, so I think the major story of the day is that um, old Tranker here is deed deeder than deed can be because she walked outside into space for like stupid reasons, uh, I've over, I've I've pretty much want to say it's her fault, but I have to admit it's got to be my fault. The reason it's got to be my fault is because I didn't make sure that the people who don't have any sort of space protection right now, uh, they aren't limited to the area. They were limited. They were. I was allowing them to go wherever they wanted to go. And that was a mistake. So that, that one's on me. So uh, our next job of the day really is going to end up being we need to uh, sort out. Actually, I think well, we've got that. Yeah. Uh, we need to sort ourselves out a um, a grave system for her. And uh, that is probably going to be through the research of uh, afterlife caskets and sapient holodecks. Um, so, we're doing ship's torpedoes at the moment. We're nearly done with that. It's going quite well. Uh, once we've done that, we will get a sam research the sapient holodecks, or the, the, the caskets, get her buried in her casket, and then uh, see what we can do about getting a holodeck sorted, because she might be able to uh, help us out of life uh, rather than inside. So it'd be quite interesting to see what's going on there. We're going to go full uh, rimmer. So, uh, yeah, this is interesting because it's RimWorld. Anywho, back to where we're going. We are, at the moment, we're getting the uh, oil wells and doohickeys and stuff like that. Uh, trying to get that all popped together. Uh, and hopefully we'll get the uh, life support system building. Now, the reason that this all didn't happen so well is because as Muppet me decided uh, I was going to use the synthaline and we didn't have any synthaline left uh, which is always good uh, we also need to make sure that some people are scheduled for mining as well or work mining because uh, which is Christabel apparently and Gray who is supervising drilling operation apparently which is nice uh, how's the tank level doing Pipeline valve. That should be going into the crude cracker, hopefully. Once we've uh, got ourselves sorted, I'm, I'm not that au fait on uh, the mining bit for Ryan Feller, so it's going to take me a little bit of time to uh, work out how it's all going to fit together. But of course, all these bits and pieces that I have up here are probably going to end up in this area here in some regard soonish uh as uh, it seems like this is going to be my major area for actually creating energy from an oil system uh currently we are still okay on the production of um smoke leaf we have ourselves a night owl as i tried to say last time uh luxembourg working hard at night and she's making uh, 123 smoke leaf joints at the moment and psycho is 116 so next trade we should be able to uh trade that off for some decent wedge really and that may will mean that we we'll should be able to afford um a new slave if uh, a slave ship comes across I think we should be okay for, for money anyway, I believe. Let me just have a look. Where's the metal? Uh, yeah, we're at 4703, which is generally... About 3,000 is usually for a, a 
a slave, depending on how good they are, of course. They all seem to know which ones are worth more than the others, but hey. We're, uh, we're not keeping score here much. Those darn pirates. And uh, yeah, so that's probably about it at the moment. Uh, we're still going through the building of the... Um, the shielding we've moved this shield up forward here and then we'll see where we need to pop in a shield here and i think we're probably going to need a shield about here we're taking the rest of this ship apart because it's kind of redundant for us uh and hopefully that will mean that we'll be ready to deal with anything that goes out comes our way we'll be able to uh drag that ship in which means that other ships may attack us which is always fun uh, colonist is left unburied. Uh, that's a bit of an issue. But uh, and tattered apparel. Eh? What's going on with you, Christopher? What's what gear is it? Uh, your EVA suit. Okay, we need to make some more EVA suits. I think. Right. Uh, fabrication bench. Make EVA suits. Okay. I'm right. So research screen is there. So the next thing we want is afterlife casket. We want to get that done as quickly as possible. And we want to make some EVA suits ASAP. Make ten of those. And maybe some helmets as well. Hmm. I think we'll leave the helmets for the moment. But uh, that is definitely... Uh, something that we need to do. Let's have a quick look at what we need to make the EVA suits because I suspect gold is going to be one of them, isn't it? Uh, two advanced components, 10 plus steel. Okay, and 70 ingredients. Uh, cloth, hyperweave, synthamide, synthroid. Okay. Um, can I actually make some synth... Um, bills. I can make synthaline. Can I make... I think it might be an actual... Fabrication, is it? Make synthamide composite. Is that the crafting? Sintelene, see, that's. I'll probably just leave it with just the, the basic stuff. We should have cloth anyway, so we should be okay for making it. I've just got to make sure that we've got a, a crafter to do so. What's Jet doing? Who's that? Who is that crafting guy, person? Marie, okay. And what's she up to? She's playing horseshoes. I'm assigned to smithing. Okay, so it's smithing apparently. Is it? Okay, have we got smithing? Oh, yeah, jet. Four eyes of frost. I thought frost was assigned to smithing. Nope. It's just four eyes will grow. Once she's uh, done resting, we'll get her down there. This may make her a little unhappy, but hey, we can live with that. Anywho, it's been ten minutes, so uh, we'll <laughs> time really runs quickly when you're suddenly dealing with problems uh, I will catch you on the flip side when something else happens well it looks like uh, Marie and Frost are together so let me have a quick look at this uh, Marie and Frost uh, right we're going to have to get a double bed in here aren't we I don't know who's that belong to that belongs to Luxembourg so if we set owner as Frost and Murray. And set that one <clears throat> to Luxembourg. 
That should solve the problem. Now, we are still having issues with people who are... Um, upset about Tranker not being sorted yet. But <clears throat> I do have a plan. But it just all depends on Tyrion. So we'll work out once he's done. Okay, so we now got the afterlife casket. As you can see, just let me just quickly sort the rogue. The, the, uh, I may. Let's get the synthling components sorted. Okay, that's done. Right, as you may see there, I've got some of the hologram relays sorted. And what I want to do now is I want to go back to ship. And where's the casket? Right, I need to find the afterlife casket. I'll put three of those in there for the moment, but what I need to do is find out how much this is. Plus steel component and six advanced components. So I want to get Marie prioritised on that, if I'm honest, so that we can get... Uh, <clears throat> So we can get uh, her buried. Right, once that's done, we'll be back in a sec and then try to see what we can do about getting uh, Tranka into the casket. Okay, so we've got to install a consciousness into this device. So we'll put Tranka. And see how that works. Is somebody going to put her in the casket? Or do I need to... Oh, graze on it, apparently. Okay. So now we get to see what an afterlife casket does. Okay, generate the hologram. Okay. Uh, don't want a handle. Cooking. Resource consoles. Okay, and can she Smith? No. But we have Tranker is now working in the kitchen. I actually really quite like that. Now, I suspect that Tranka doesn't need to sleep as she's dead. She's just going to go around and do her thing. Hollow emitters are uh, okay. 
okay. Right, I see. So, does this actually give me... Oh, Tranko is sleeping. Okay. And who doesn't have a bed? Kathy's there, so it must be Luxembourg. Okay, well, it's Eclipse, so does that mean that Trank is going to disappear? Not sure. Alright, so... All in all, just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comment section to let me know how I can improve my content for you. If you like what you see, want to press that subscribe button. If you super duper like it, want to press that bell icon so you get updated every time I upload new content to YouTube. Well, it reminds me to say thanks for watching, folks. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.